Ah! Ah! Don't do that! So because Winona isn't 100% insane, he still has enough good sense to realize that he needs to hide Gooby. So how about this small, cramped, INCREDIBLY LARGE CABIN? What is this? Evil Dead 2? That cabin is like three times bigger in the inside than it is on the outside. I'll swallow your soul! I'll swallow your soul! Yeah, I'll believe that. I need something to drink. I'll be right back. Hey, bird brain. <gasps> Did you have souls? I'm a Christian. You're not God. <sighs> I won't forget, dummy, don't you. <sighs> I, I'm sorry, did I miss anything? Oh look, it's my favorite scene! Where Pedal Bear builds a go-kart out of household items. Maybe you should go on a... ...smaller hill. <laughs> we don't need a smaller hill. Man, furries freak me out. Okay, I have just one question for you guys out there. Now, maybe you can help me. Do I call animal control or child services? I have them both on speed dial. The Gooby is dead! And now with Gooby dead, Winona can finally get back to a normal life and focus on things that matter, like school. Oh my god, it lives! It can't be killed by conventional weapons, for Gooby is the harbinger of doom! Mr. Dandridge. <gasps> Let's go, Bob. Look! Ah! What did I say? Stop it! So after school, Winona and his mom go food shopping. Oh, and Gooby, the child stalker that he is, is there too. And what follows is... There are no words for what you're about to see. That's a lie! Okay, I've been meaning to ask this for quite some time. Remember how in the beginning of the movie when they were playing frightening music when nothing really frightening was happening? Now when the movie actually is frightening, the soundtrack is all happy-go-lucky. Maybe I can fix that somehow. Yeah, that's more like it. Now that's scary. Okay, what's happening here? Earlier Eugene Levy overheard Winona and Gooby's conversation, and now he's trying to take their picture? Is Winona outwardly psychotic? Is his psychosis actually affecting other people to the point where they share his delusions? Or is he actually real? No. No, it can't be. Fine young ticket man. I think I can you have got to be kidding me. It's real? So you're telling me that this whole time Gooby has been real? That Winona's psychosis actually brought his stuffed animal to life? Yep. That's why this movie gives me nightmares. This is a more terrifying concept than child's play. Where you been? Ask me about my winner! You know, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. I'm not. You know, I'd say that Gooby would make a perfect spokesman for Nambla, but he looks nothing like Marlon Brando. Now, it's one thing for Gooby to be seen while Winona's around, I guess. But what about when he's not? Yeah, there's a scene where Gooby goes off on his own and gets lost at a construction site. And guess what? People see this giant orange monstrosity and continue to act as if it's business as usual. How much drugs do these people take on a daily basis? Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. 
After hearing this news, Winona gets upset and the two have a fight. The movie takes us well. You don't come out to the backyard anymore. You're always playing soccer and hanging out with your new friends. It's not true. And we don't even draw hoonies anymore. Hoonies? There's no such thing as hoonies. Well, there's no such thing as goobies either, but my therapist still hears about them. Well, there's no such thing as hoonies, then maybe I should go. Go? Oh, please do. That would make me so happy. So Gooby runs away from the movie, proving once and for all that there is a god, and Winona, the little pissant that he is, starts acting all butthurt by his disappearance. This is so emo. It's only a matter of time before he starts cutting himself to ease the pain. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm sick of this life. I just want to scream. How could this happen to me? Jack? Hmm? We need to talk about Willie. Whoa. Looks like someone switched the big boy pants a little too soon. Yeah, he was doing really well there for a while. It was, it was like he was a different kid. And then the past couple of days, he's just changed. Yes, I too miss our certifiably insane son. What the hell is wrong with you? He's this close to being a little bit normal, and now you're all like, oh, I think there's something wrong with our son. Worst. Mother. Ever. Hey, now that Gooby is gone, the movie is suddenly creepy again. That shouldn't happen. Really? Ah, son of a bitch. I spoke too soon. God, I hate it when I'm right. So yeah, Gooby's back. Wonderful. End my suffering. Where have you been? I went out to find something you need to see. I still have those numbers on speed dial. Just give me the word. And so our epic journey begins as our heroes take part in some sort of obligatory walking montage. Before long, Winona's parents begin to notice that he's gone missing. Jack? You know people die here. See? Told you the trade tracks headed somewhere near here. Come on, Willie. Do you want to see a dead body? So Gooby takes Winona to see his dad's old house for some reason. Now, if you're looking for an explanation as to why Gooby knows this, or how far they had to walk to actually get here, then prepare to be disappointed. You should be used to that by now anyway. So they start snooping around the abandoned building until... And then Winona's dad magically appears and then... Cops? Uh, what? Why wouldn't you call the fire department before you called me? We didn't even know the kid was in here until we saw your car screaming down Sullivan. Dun, dun, dun! Sorry. So, what? Did Gooby call him? What the? I was the one that called you. Yep. I'm Gooby. I believe the proper response is... <laughs> So now the dad is seeing Gooby, and like everyone else, he doesn't really seem to have a problem with it. Actually, most grown-ups forget all sorts of things. My dad and I were gonna build a fort. We never did. A boy needs a dad. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. So this whole time, Gooby had nothing to do with teaching Willie anything, or just being Willie's friend? but he was really here to teach his dad a lesson about how to be a good father? I gotta say, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Hell, I don't think even M. Night Shyamalan could see that coming. 